This is section 5.7, Substitution Method. In this video, we're going to go through number 61 in your book, and this is an example of a problem involving trig functions where we'll have to use u sub in order to take the integral. So we're given this function, asked to find the integral, and looking at the function, how it's written now, we don't have a rule to take the integral of this. So we're going to use this new thing that we learned called u sub. Okay, so for u sub, we're going to take part of this function and set it equal to u. Generally, the part of the function you want to set equal to u is going to be something that's within another function. A lot of times, something raised to a power. In this case, we have something inside of a radical, so something inside of another function. We're going to set this inside part equal to our u. So now we have cosine of 4x plus 1 is equal to our u. And remember, our game plan with these kinds of problems is to rewrite this entire thing in terms of just u's so that we can take the integral and then sub back in this original function. Okay, so I have a part of my function equal to u. I have a dx over here, though, and I want to rewrite this in terms of du also. So in order to get a value for dx, I'm going to take the derivative of both these sides, see what I get. So on the left here, derivative of cosine 4x is minus sine 4x, remember chain rule, this will be times 4, a derivative of 1 is just 0, and we're going to write a dx equals derivative of u is just du. Now I'm going to solve for this value, dx, so that I have something to plug back into my original function. Solving for dx, I just divide this over to the other side. I get that dx is equal to du over minus 4 sine 4x. Okay, so now I have a value for dx that I can plug into my equation, and I have a part of my function set equal to u that I can plug back into my equation. So let's plug those things in and see what happens. So plugging in all my values, I get integral of sine 4x times, uh, this becomes u. I'm going to rewrite the radical as one half. Um, and then remember, my dx is equal to du over minus 4 sine 4x. And this is what should happen, because remember, remember, I want to rewrite this entire thing in terms of u. If this sine 4x didn't cancel, that would mean I have to go back, try something else. This method didn't work. But conveniently, this sine 4x cancels with this sine 4x, just like I wanted. And now I have something that is written in terms of only u. I have negative 1 fourth u to the 1 half du. And this is something I know how to take the integral of. So I'm just going to use my integral rules that I've been using the entire chapter. I add 1 to the exponent, so this becomes u to the 3 half, and then divide by this new number. So it becomes minus 1 fourth times 2 over 3. And remember, this is an indefinite integral, so I have to add a plus c over here. Simplifying this out a little bit, multiplying these two fractions together, I get minus 2 over 12 u to the 3 half plus c. But remember, they're not interested in u. They're interested, <laughs> no offense, they are interested in u. But <laughs> the original function they're interested in is in terms of x. So we're going to rewrite this u and plug back in what we had originally set it equal to. So this becomes, I'm going to simplify this fraction, negative 1 over 6. Uh, plugging in my u, I have cosine of 4x plus 1 to the 3 halves plus c. And that's my final answer. So remember, I had this original function, didn't know how to take the integral of it. So I took a function within a function, set it equal to u, took the derivative of both sides so that I also had a value to plug in for my dx, plugged in my u, plugged in my dx, things canceled, and I was left with a function in terms of only u. Then I took the integral of that function, like using my normal rules, subbed back in whatever I set u equal to, and had my answer. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts covered in this video are true no matter what calculus class you're in, but all the sections and problems I referenced were from this textbook right here. And remember that if you're a registered Baylor student, we offer free tutoring on the first floor of Sid Rich. You can either schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment online or just drop in whenever you're available during our business hours for free tutoring. For more information, feel free to visit our website.